Hey, and welcome back. Let's sign in the user. All right, we want to go to the user controller. I'm going to collapse this. Under activate, I'm going to say sign in. It's going to be an async function that take in the request and the response. Now we want to set up a try and catch block. And then return the error if there's an error in the catch block. Response with a status of 500. And then a JSON message of the error. All right, now to our try block. And the first thing we want to do is get the credential. So the user will need to give us their email and password. Next, we want to check for that email if it's valid. And then also check the password. After that, we want to assign them a refresh token. So the idea behind a refresh token is that it is a credential that we give to the sign in user so they can use it to obtain an access token, which is the next function that we're going to write after signing in. So this access token is responsible for getting the user data like their name or their avatar. So another way of thinking about this setup is that imagine that we have a house and the refresh token is able to get you in the house and the access token lets you unlock all the doors that are in the house so i hope that clarified things up and i'm confident that as we move along you will be more familiar with the concept all right if all of this passed that means the signing was a success so first we will get the credential so i will say const email and password is equal to the request.body Next, we want to check for the email. So I will say const user await user and then find one in the database using the email. And if it does not return a user, we want to return a response of a status of 400 and a JSON message saying this email is not registered in our system all right next we want to check for the password so i will say const is match equal await we will use bcrypt to compare the password that the user just input with the user password in our database and then i say if it's not a match we want to return a response with a status of 400 and a JSON message saying this password is incorrect. Next, we want to create a refresh token. So I will jump into my create token helper and then add a new method called refresh, which will take in the payload. Then we want to return JWT sign, meaning our server is the one that signed this token. We will pass in the payload and then a secret key. I will call it refresh underscore token and set that expire in 24 hours. All right, give that a quick save. Now let's go to our .env file. Let's define that key, which was refresh underscore token. And then I will just type some random stuff. Give that a quick save. And now go back to my user controller. Go to my refresh token section. I will say const rf underscore token and then use my helper. Refresh. As for payload, I want to pass in the user ID. Next, I want to store this refresh token in a cookie. So I will say response cookie. I will give it a name of underscore app rf token. And then I will pass in the actual token. Next, there are a few options that I want to set. The first is HTTP only. Set that to true. So we do not allow anybody to use JavaScript to mess with the token. Next, this is the path that I want to store the token to. Forward slash API forward slash auth forward slash access. 
Next, I will give it a max age of 24 hours. So if everything passed, that means the sign was a success. Then I want to respond with a status of 200 and a JSON message saying sign in success. Give that a quick save and now go to my user routes. We want to define the sign in route. So I will say route.post and then forward slash API forward slash auth and then forward slash sign in. After that, our user controller and use our sign in method. Give this a quick save and then test it out. Let's jump into Postman. I will add a new request. I will call it user sign in. It will be a post request. And then this endpoint, sign in. Next, I will click body and then raw and then JSON format. I will input my credential, begin with my email. And then my password. And then click send. All right, signing success. And this will also wrap up the lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.